Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by the Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, 2013. Thank you for tuning in. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 E-mini futures. That's what we normally start off with. And you can see that the futures are trading higher by about three and a quarter points to 15.66 and a half per contract. So again, futures are trading higher. We're kind of used to seeing that almost each and every day. Um, the one thing we want to point out, though, is they come off the highs a little bit here. So there is a slight little pullback, and we'll just see how it plays out. Right now, you do have the all of the European markets um, holding up pretty well this morning. It looks like uh, Germany, the German DAX, which is the most important in my opinion, uh, trading up about 1%. Um, and then you have Spain trading up over 2%, and Italy trading up about 1.5%. The French CAC 40 is actually up 1%, although there is a lot of uh, turmoil going on inside the French government at the moment. Um, seems not to, the market doesn't seem to really care about it all that much. And then you have England, which can print their own money, the FTSE 100, trading higher by about three quarters of 1%. So all of the European markets seem to be holding steady, at least this morning. And um, we'll just have to see how it all shakes out a little bit later. Uh, once the opening bell rings here in the United States, a lot of times Europe will use the United States as the lead dance partner. And we'll see how that plays out. Now, over in Asia, the Asian markets held up very well last night. The Nikkei 225, which is in the news each and every day. Um, there's money printing galore going on there. Dropping uh, the Japanese DN is being devalued almost on a, on a daily basis. And um, that, that index, Nikkei 225, finished higher by three quarters of 1%. The Shanghai was flat last night, no change. And the Indian Sensex, the Bombay Exchange, um, <clears throat> higher by about 1%. So that made a little bit of a bounce back. Singapore, um, which is a very important market. A lot of people don't realize it is one of the hedge fund capitals of the world. Uh, that was down about um, one-tenth of one percent, so basically flat as well. Uh, so we'll have to watch and, and see how the U.S. markets shake out today. But uh, a couple of things to go over real quickly. Uh, one thing you want to know uh, is that the president is unveiling his budget. So this is uh, some big news, headline news. I guess he's come out with a budget. He's going to release that. Um, in detail a little bit later today uh, so we'll see how that plays out um, I'm not sure it's going to affect the US markets all that much it looks like money printing is really the only thing that that matters um, for the stock market at this stage uh, of the game uh, then you have the FOMC uh, minutes coming out a lot of people don't know but the minutes are not the actual transcripts from the last FOMC meeting by the Federal Reserve um, what they are is uh, just a summary of what the Fed wants released to the public. So, uh, again, I don't know how much we could put into that, how much weight we could put into it. But either way, um, that sometimes does move markets a little bit. If the Fed is saying, hey, we're going to wind down QE, I doubt they'll say that, but hey, you never know. Uh, I think there's also some more economic data uh, that is going to be released a little bit later at 2 p.m. I think it's uh, the treasury, treasury budget for March. Um, I, I don't find that to be a, a mo market moving event at all. So, um, you know, we'll have to see where where the market shakes out today. But uh, in any case, that's the economic data that we're looking at um, for today. Um, if you take a look here at the uh, gold market this morning, gold is getting hit a little bit. Uh, gold is down about ten dollars after yesterday's pretty good uh, pop. Um, Gold is trading at $1,577 an ounce. Gold was downgraded today by Goldman Sachs. Um, and you can see the GLD trading at 152.75. It closed at 153.34. GLD is a good proxy for gold. And you can see how that is trading down a little bit. So it looks like Goldman Sachs downgraded uh, gold. But uh, gold to me still has a ton of support here around this. Uh, well, the GLD, I should say, around the 149.50 to 150 level. Um, so we'll see if uh, gold does trade down a little bit further, but it is being downgraded today and uh, trading down a little bit at the moment. Um, looking at uh, price of oil today, light sweet crude is down a little bit as well, down about 50 cents on light sweet crude. Um, that's what we the, the type of oil that we use here in the United States. Uh, that is $93.63 at the moment. Let's take a look at the USO, which is a good proxy uh, for light sweet crude. And you can see that's down as well, trading at 33.51 closed at 33.64 yesterday so again the stronger dollar and we do have a little bit of a stronger dollar today a little slightly stronger dollar um, that will hurt crude prices dollar goes up 
Remember, oil, gasoline, energy prices go down with a stronger dollar. If the dollar goes down, then um, you could look for higher prices in oil. Gold generally used to trade inverse to the U.S. dollar. Not so much these days, but nonetheless, um, stronger dollar is not beneficial for gold either. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover right off the bat. It looks like we do have about four gap plays so far this morning for the chat room. So anybody interested in the gap plays, come on over to the chat room, take a seven-day free trial. Um, we should have at least four trades in there on the gaps, uh, morning gaps this morning. I'll see if there are any more in the next 30 minutes. But um, gap trades will be posted in the chat room around 9 a.m. for everybody to uh, watch. Something I do want to point out today is that um, HMA is one of the stocks getting hammered today. Uh, the stock closed at 12.59, uh, $12.59 yesterday. It is getting slaughtered here uh, ahead of the opening bell. So traders can watch uh, many of the hospital stocks um, to trade lower in sympathy. So all of those stocks will be in play today. Watch the, the hospital stocks. You can see Health Management Associates um, is trading sharply lower this morning. This will be a gap play this morning as well. And we'll have uh, several others. But again, watch all the, uh, the um, hospital stocks. They'll be uh, in a weaker technical position this morning. They'll be trading lower for the most part. Um, and then we do have a, a few other earnings out there. So, again, there'll be some gap plays in the morning, and we'll see how it uh, trades out. Uh, a couple of other things I just want to point out real quickly. Uh, just really one other thing. It looks like Constellation Brands is another uh, stock. This one I just popped up on my radar. Um, not doing a whole lot here, but we'll have some levels for this one as well if it does get down there. Right now it's not doing a lot, but it looks like uh, another company that uh, – came short of uh, of their earnings and um, we're starting to see this theme out there um, where companies um, are going to be short of their earnings and that's generally because of the the stronger US dollar uh, dollar will hurt exports going forward all right everybody we're gonna leave it there I want to wish you all a great trading day and I will see you all on the charts a little bit later take care now